Meanwhile, the Hokie women trying to reach 500 in the conference in the early going, welcoming Pitt to Castle. Hokies, well, coming off that tough loss at number three, Louisville, and Louisville pasted Notre Dame tonight, by the way. Panthers early in transition, Yassine Diop the bucket, then it's Callista Walters getting one off the glass for two, but the Hokies already up eight, Shanette Hicks finding Taylor Emery, who had the hot hand, that's a three-pointer, Tech up 31-18, then to end the quarter, Emery off the inbounds for a deuce, she had 16 in the first quarter alone, and yeah, we're going to Sizzler. We're going to Sizzler. Lots to cheer and dance about tonight. Reagan McGarity to the bucket for two. Virginia Tech had five players in double figures. They rolled to an 89-66 win. A complete game from start to finish that included stingy defensive play and a barrage of three-pointers. Those are the two key takeaways from Virginia Tech's performance tonight as they improved to two and two in ACC play. We kind of, um fed off of, of our, our second half against Louisville and uh, the, the attitude and the effort uh, it kind of carried over and, uh, and it propelled us to this win. Spacing the floor opened up good looks and the Hokies never settled. They hit 12 three-pointers in the game just too shy of matching a program record. Junior guard Taylor Emery had a huge night starting the game six of six from the field and draining her first four three-pointers. You know I just came out with my head ready to go and um, my team looks for me a lot in the first quarter. They look for me a lot, and I knocked it down for them. The Hokies also helped their calls at the defensive end of the court. They capitalized on 19 toner was from Pittsburgh and blocked five shots. This whole week, we've been working a lot on uh, staying together and you know playing with tempo. So I think we found the one more and just like we played for each other and we had fun out on the court. We just made you know less mistakes than they did but I was really proud because we did capitalize when we did have some turnovers got out on the break and uh, you know we were able to score at a high clip. Virginia Tech will now look to take their act on the road Sunday when they meet up with Florida State. In Blacksburg, Eric Johnson, 10 Sports.